my parents are immigrants and like when I would hear the word immigrant I would most of the time think negative. I'm a first generation college student. I am a son of immigrants. Uh, I know how difficult their journey has been and I also understand how I often wasn't proud of all the sacrifices my parents made when I was in school. I was often embarrassed of being bilingual, being bicultural, and being a little different than everybody else in my uh, rural community. And so Latinx Ed was really born out of that need around understanding that for students to know where they're going and to have a firm grasp on their future, they need to know where they came from. Cary Academy was gracious enough to sponsor us. So all the students are from Lee County, uh, North Carolina. So we have the South and we have Latinx students and we have education. Um, <clears throat> and so I, those are like all the things that have impacted me growing up. Um, so I kind of want to be able to give students that experience that I never had in public school. Um, I met new people and I learned about my identity, who I am. And so we're really focusing on on three themes, uh, three pillars to our curriculum, which is Latinidad, or cultural identity, um, learning, seeing themselves as learners, uh, as well as leadership, seeing themselves as leaders in their communities. To kind of put into action all the things they've learned during the summer program, um, the students are working on a digital storytelling project where they craft their story and they tell us their history, who they are, what they value through a media project and they're able to tell their story exactly how they want it to be told. With tools that Lenovo has graciously provided, we've been able to really engage with them with, with some resources that they wouldn't normally be able to engage with in their own classroom. So being able to use laptops to explore different topics, to be able to do research on the spot as they explore perhaps the history of leaders in their community or back in Latin America. Uh, so it's been very tactile, but also very like 21st century learning, right? Where they have the tools readily available for them to be able to do this. Oh my God, the VR, just the VR. There's so much uncultivated talent and in the Latinx youth that they never get to explore. It's normal to be an immigrant. Like any person could be an immigrant. What we're trying to do with them now with our students is making sure that they see those experiences as strengths and not weaknesses and actually that's going to be the experiences that are going to get them into college and for them to be prepared to be leaders in their community uh, as they grow up. I really didn't think of myself as Latino and never before Chicano. Uh, I'm grateful for my mom for arriving to the United States and having us for a better life. <laughs>